October 25th, 2021. These videos are not advice of any kind. Um, let's just check uh, the blood pressure here. good not very good um, yeah I slept slept about uh, three hours last night really really couldn't sleep um, no matter what I do I just can't sleep um, yeah this whole um, circus is really uh, affecting me. My mom, uh, after working after uh, working at a hospital for nine years, today was her last day. She's going to be placed on um, unpaid leave of absence starting tomorrow. And um, it's just insane what's going on. Um, things are ten times worse now. Ten times worse now that these uh, this uh, godforsaken vaccine came out. Done before the vaccine. Things are just going in the opposite direction. I said that in... I predicted, I mean... I'm not trying to say I'm some kind of a... I don't know. I don't know, some kind of psychic, but... April, May of 2020. I said that to my manager. The worst, the worst time will come when they come out with a vaccine for this. Because they're going to start pushing it. I, uh, I saw it, like I said exactly and then I asked them, you know, that was this was like April or May 2020. And uh, I asked them, uh, you know, when the when the when there uh, eventually there will be a vaccine, right? This was like before even they were talking about the vaccines, like. But I said to them, eventually there's going to be a vaccine. And uh, is the company going to start um, requiring people to get vaccinated? And you're like, what are you even talking about? Um, like, he didn't say the word conspiracy theory to me, but he was kind of looking at me like I'm some kind of conspiracy theorist. And... Um, said um, uh, yeah uh, thinking you know what I'm so freaking tired I can't um, 
I can't string two thoughts together. But anyways, what I was trying to say is, um, he laughed me out. He said, just don't even think about that for now. Just focus on getting the company through these start, uh, this, 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 getting the company through because uh, these hard times. Because, you know, at April, May of 2020, um, you know, like 85% of the workforce ran away and just stayed home. And me and a few other people pulled the, uh, pulled it through, you know, kept the, the, kept things going, basically. Um, everybody else ran away and they were pretending to be working from home. And uh, working from home is not very effective, uh, I'm, which I'm finding out um, the hard way right now, too. Looks like I'm gonna probably gonna make probably gonna make about half the money this month that I normally would. Um, yeah predicted the whole thing and uh, what do you know a year and a half later I get kicked out of the office to go work from home and um, what I wanted to say though is uh, you know the government is sort of cleaning up one mess they've made in the past you know, with the First Nations, you know, they have their Truth and Reconciliation Day while they continue making a mess. You know, on other fronts, I mean, in the future, they're going to need another Truth and Reconciliation Day, right? I mean, it's the thousands and thousands of people that they are destroying right now, destroying their livelihoods. I mean, all of that is gonna have to be reconciled in the future, right? I mean, the truth will come out. It might take a long, long time, right? I mean, World War II took, took six years, but, you know, eventually, Eventually, uh, people were judged. And these people will be judged too, right? And all the people that are acting like animals right now. Because, I mean, frankly, a lot of people are acting just like animals. You know, like, a lot of people were acting like animals during World War II. And a lot of people are acting like animals, you know, just um, lowering themselves to such a level. Uh, the blood pressure's not looking good at all. I'm just exhausted, is why. Um, it shouldn't be that high. go to bed, but um, all those people acting like animals right now, you know, harassing people on the street for whatever reason, um, and, you know, eventually they'll, they're going to feel bad about that someday. Yeah, there, there will be a Truth and Reconciliation Day Part 2 in the future. Cheers. <laughs>